Ayaka is an elegant 5-star Cryo Sword user who excels as both an on-field and quick-swap DPS. Her kit allows her to gain various buffs from her dash and skill to dish out massive damage. Since most of her damage stems from her burst, she can perform quite well with just her elemental skill and burst, enabling her to function as a quick-swap DPS. However, Ayaka's potential as a DPS can be affected by poor positioning, energy requirements, and lack of team flexibility. Her elemental burst is a significant portion of her damage, so missing it is very detrimental. Also, since her burst costs 80 energy, Ayaka needs energy recharge and a cryo battery, making her team compositions quite limited. Furthermore, because of both the necessity of freeze for Ayaka to hit all parts of her burst, and because of the internal cooldown on elemental application, Ayaka cannot make use of melt very well. Ayaka's normal attack talent is called Kamisato Art Kabuki. Her normal attack string is a 7 hit combo with the last slash causing her to dash towards the enemy. Ayaka's charged attack causes her to sheathe her sword and quickly slash 3 times in front of herself. Her charged attack has decent AoE and range, allowing her to even hit targets in Venti's elemental burst. Ayaka's elemental skill is called Kamisato Art Hyoka. Upon activating her skill, she summons a cryo circle, dealing AoE cryo damage. This also gives her normal and charged attacks a damage bonus. Ayaka's elemental burst is Kamisato Art Sumetsu, which calls for the cyclone that follows a linear path. Her burst will continuously deal damage to opponents, then explode at the end for a larger instance of damage. Her burst has a unique property where, if it comes into contact with frozen or large enemies, it stops moving forward until the enemy is defeated or defrosted, making it ideal to maintain freeze uptime to avoid missing her burst. Ayaka has an alternate sprint similar to Mona called Kamisato Art Senho. Upon exiting her dash, her sword is granted cryo infusion and she receives a cryo damage bonus. Furthermore, if she makes contact with an enemy, her dash will apply cryo and refund 10 stamina. Now that you know what she does, how can you play her? Ayaka's first playstyle is as an on-field DPS unit. In this playstyle, Ayaka spends most of her field time infusing her sword with cryo to perform charged attacks and maintain the frozen stats on enemies. This also allows Ayaka to make use of crit rate buffs from her artifact set and use her burst more effectively. Because Ayaka's damage comes primarily from her burst, it should be leveled first. Her charged attack does decent damage and should be leveled second, followed by her skill. Ayaka's best weapon for this playstyle is Miss Splitter Reforged for its high base attack and high elemental damage bonus. Her best 4 star will generally be dependent on her team, but Aminoma Kageuchi and Black Cliff Longsword are her two best options. The Black Sword can be good if players don't overcap on crit rate, but once players begin to overcap on crit, the Black Sword falls down the rankings. Ayaka's best artifact set for an on field DPS playstyle is the 4 piece Blizzard Strayer set for its cryo damage bonus and abundant crit rate against frozen enemies. The main stats to prioritize are attack percent on the sands, cryo damage on the goblet, and crit damage on the circlet. As for substats, Ayaka mainly wants crit damage, attack, and 120-130% to energy recharge. Crit rate can be useful as a substat, but given that Ayaka gains so much crit rate from cryo resonance and her artifact set, it can be very easy to overcap on crit rate. Now let's talk about Ayaka's quick swap playstyle. Quick swap teams rely on swapping between characters to use their elemental skills and bursts off cooldown. In a quick swap playstyle, Ayaka relies mostly on her elemental skill and burst to deal damage and swaps off to other units during her downtime. Because of this, she spends very little time on field, allowing other units to cast their abilities. Since this playstyle revolves around using Ayaka's burst as the main source of damage, it should be leveled first, followed by her normal attacks, which should be leveled along with her elemental skill. While she makes much less use of her normal attacks in the quick swap playstyle, her charged attacks have a high amount of damage, so even if she only performs one or two charged attacks in a quick swap playstyle, they will match or straight up out damage her elemental skill. Ayaka's best weapon for a quick swap playstyle is still the Miss Splitter Reforged. 
Her best 4-star option and best free-to-play option is Ame no Makageuchi for its energy recharge passive that allows Ayaka to invest less into ER stats. Ayaka's best artifact set for quick swap is still the 4-piece Blizzard Shred artifact set. Even in a quick swap playstyle, Ayaka should still aim to hit frozen enemies with her burst, making the 4-piece Blizzard Shred set her best set. The main stats prioritized are attack percent on the sands, cryo damage on the goblet, and crit damage on the circlet. For substats, Ayaka wants crit damage, attack, and energy recharge. Crit rate can be a strong option, but again has issues with overcapping. Now that you know how to build Ayaka, let's talk about some teams that you can use her in. Ayaka's on-field DPS teams focus on maximizing freeze uptime, batterying Ayaka, and using her burst as frequently as possible. An example of this composition is Ayaka, Diona, Sintio, and Kazuha. Ayaka obtains various buffs from Diona and Kazuha, while Sintio applies Hydro to enable freeze. Diona provides shields and heals, Sintio can dish out off-field DPS and provide damage resistance, and Kazuha swirls Cryo to maintain his elemental damage boost, trade Cryo resistance, and deal off-field damage. Ayaka on a quick swap team usually consists of Ayaka with one or two Animo units to provide crowd control and elemental resistance shred from the 4-piece Viridescent Venerer set, and a unit who can apply Hydro to enable Freeze. One example team consists of Ayaka, Venti, Ganyu, and Mona. Mona can apply Hydro and enable Freeze, Ganyu functions as another DPS alongside Ayaka, and Venti can provide energy, damage, buffs, and crowd control, enabling both Ayaka and Ganyu's bursts to do massive damage. Although Ayaka has some drawbacks, her tremendous burst damage potential more than makes up for her shortcomings. Her ability to dish out a significant amount of damage without too much field time makes her a powerful and flexible DPS. Thanks for watching this quick guide. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you would like to see more quick guides and other informative content in the future, feel free to subscribe to the channel.